boat tour. Our captain is joined by his crew to ensure a safe and spectacular experience. The life vest that we are wearing is an automatic inflatable life vest. In the unlikely event of you falling in the water, the life jacket will automatically inflate. If the boat is moving slowly, and whenever it comes to a stop, please feel free to stand up to take as many pictures as you want. However, when the boat is moving faster, please remain seated at times. Should you experience any discomfort during your trip, please raise your hand to let us know. We will stop the boat immediately to assist you. Now that that is done, I will be back later to give you some fun facts. Until then, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Captain, let's get underway. And as we say here in Dubai, yalla! The project framework included residential buildings, a shopping mall, restaurant promenades, business towers, and a yacht club to manage the 600 berths for luxury yachts. The project was set to make Dubai Marina the largest man-made marina in the world. If you would like to stroll around the marina, just be aware it totals 8 kilometers in diameter. So girls, wear flats. As we venture out to take a look at the backdrop of the marina skyline, it isn't just a spectacular view by chance. The buildings were modeled to resemble the Concord Pacific development in Vancouver, Canada. If you were lucky enough, you will sometimes spot the occasional whale shark that loses its way from the Persian Gulf. The marina is also the proud birthplace of exclusive yachts, Dubai's largest luxury yacht charter operator. Guests over the years on this very yacht have included Britain's very own Prince Harry, Damon Hill, and frequent visitor Martin Brundle, pop icons Rihanna, Craig David, Akon, Alicia Dixon, past and present soccer stars Jamie Vardy, Dele Ali, Ian Rush, and Maradona, boxing legend Chris Eubank, and from the movies, Vin Diesel and the Fast and Furious crew, to name a few. of the man-made islands. On the island, you'll find apartments, shopping, some nice restaurants, and the fabulous Caesars Palace Hotel with its beach club. If you hadn't noticed, the island is also home to its key attraction, the world's tallest Ferris wheel called the Eye of Dubai. Stretching 230 meters in height, it's taller than most skyscrapers, only a few meters shorter than the Eiffel Tower, and is near twice the size of a similar product you may have heard of, the Eye of London. To the right of us is the must-visit Jumeirah Beach Complex, a bustling hotspot full of fun activities, sporting events, markets, top restaurants, plenty of shopping, and a multi-screen indoor and outdoor cinema. It really is its own city by the sea, and a great place to relax and hang out day or night. Ronda Locatelli's, Gordon Ramsay's Bread Street Kitchen, or Dine Beneath the Sea in Oceano, the award-winning undersea restaurant. If you're planning to stay at the Atlantis, you may opt for a few nights in the Royal Bridge Suite. At $27,000 a night, it comes with your very own butler, private spa, 
treatment room, and a pretty good view of the palm. Alternatively, for those on a more modest budget, you can pick up a room at around $400 a night. A popular choice for families, as all guests enjoy complimentary access to the Aqua Adventure Park, where you can swim with dolphins, enjoy wildlife shows, relax on a huge lazy river, or go diving in shark-infested waters. The Atlantis opened its doors in 2008 and consists of 1,539 suites, making this hotel one of the largest in the world. It's now your chance to make memories saved in your gallery. Get into the bow and we'll help snap photos for you. Ladies and gentlemen, ahead of us is one of the most photographed structures in the world, the magnificent Burj Al Arab. The third largest hotel in the world, the design of this megastructure is symbolic to Dubai, like the Opera House is to Sydney and Big Ben to London. The shape of the Burj resembles the sail of an old traditional wooden Arabian dhow ship, proudly standing on its own island in the center of the coastline. Only from the sea can you see the Burj's newest addition, seamlessly overhanging the sea, the 10,000 square foot terrace. The terrace was built in Finland and transported by sea. It stretches 100 meters out into the gulf and adds to the already luxurious hotel with two swimming pools and its very private beach. The horizontal structure on the top is the sky bar and restaurant. If you plan a visit, be prepared for a cocktail that will set you back around $50. Perched 210 meters at the top of the hotel is a helipad, which has been center stage for some interesting promotional stunts over the years. Some of you may have seen David Coulthard doing donuts in a Formula One car, Andre Agassi and Roger Federer playing a game of tennis, Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy hitting golf balls off the top, world heavyweight boxing champion Anthony Joshua boxing, and for 33,000 pounds, you can even get married on it. Inside the Burj, you will find the world's tallest and very colorful atrium, standing 180 meters high, complete with beautiful waterfalls, fountains, and an aquarium. The Burj Hotel doesn't do rooms. You will only find 202 two-story suites, each with its own butler, and boasting the best views across the Arabian Sea. A night at the Burj Al Arab will set you back $1,500 and some change. Skydive Dubai, the leading skydive company in the UAE, offering visitors the opportunity to soar 13,000 feet above the incredible sights of Dubai. 
sky jumps take over seven minutes, involving a one minute long free fall at the speed of 120 miles per hour. Give it a go and witness the magnificent bird's eye view of Palm Jumeirah Island. We are currently cruising the western side of Dubai Marina. On our left is the Dubai Harbor, a marina like no other. Dubai Harbor Marina is uniquely designed and built to cater to all services that yachts of all dimensions could require. Birthing 560 plus yachts from 12 meters up to 40 meters, it is the largest and most advanced marina in the region. Featuring the harbor's master building, as well as a promenade with a curated mix of restaurants, cafes, and retail offerings, the harbor can accommodate passengers and crew in complete luxury, entertainment, leisure, and retail offerings.